This disgusting string of numbers and letters is a checksum report that was spit out by a software called DaVinci Resolve, and it lets me know that my footage slash files were backed up correctly. If you are a media person of any type, a wedding videographer, a photographer, or a, or a YouTuber, or a manipulator, I mean an influencer, then you should know how to back up your files correctly. Your files are the commodities that make you money. So what you probably do, if you don't know what a checksum is or you haven't heard about it before, is you have two finder windows or the file thing that is the equivalent in PC, and you'll have your files and you will drag them over to, say, from your camera card to your external hard drive. And you get that cute little noise and it's, ta-da, there it is. And it's all fine, right? Maybe not. There may be problems. Drag and drop works like 99% of the time, but there is that 1%. Also, 14% of statistics are completely made up. 9% of people know that. So when things do go wrong, mm, it's terrible. If you haven't lost footage before, you probably haven't made enough videos or taken enough photos or done enough of the thing that you do with media because it's going to happen at some point. And sometimes it's not entirely your fault. It's just an accident of the computer. I remember one time I plugged in a camera card into the back of a computer and zap, the footage was gone. So to protect yourself from those rare instances, but very real instances, you should try using something called a checksum. There are programs and softwares that will double check your data to make sure that when it's copying, it's being copied correctly. And if it's not, it'll tell you, which is great. So drag and drop does a verification process in your computer where it says file A that we're copying goes to file B in another hard drive and then it looks at the sizes and it's like, yeah, they're both two gigabytes each. It probably worked. But the ones and zeros inside that file might have gotten kind of fried or mixed up. It happens sometimes. Just the same way that your email or any application has weird bugs sometimes that just drive you crazy and you can't explain them, so does drag and drop. It has those problems too. So what a checksum does, without getting extremely nerdy, is it reads those ones and zeros, and then it uses an algorithm to spit out a chain of letters and numbers, which you saw at the beginning here. So that string of letters and numbers is very unique to that file. Then on the file that got copied, it does the same process. And if that little string of letters and numbers is the same for both, it knows that it worked perfectly without having to check literally every one and zero, because that's ridiculous, even for a computer. So if you want to protect your data, you might be thinking, well, how do I do this thing? It sounds great. Well, I would recommend DaVinci Resolve. It's a completely free program and it has a tool called a, the clone tool, which you can use to clone footage or files, literally anything, except your DNA. You can't, you can't make children out of yourself from the clone tool in DaVinci Resolve. So I have DaVinci right here. I'm gonna open it up. Let's wait while it bounces. And here it is. Let's use test one and open up this project. On the far left, you have a, basically DaVinci Resolve is set up in tabs and you flow from left to right. The very first one, this far left tab, is the media tab. And the clone tool is up here on the top left. You turn it on and off, it's this box. So, if I wanted to back up this footage or this audio file that I was using before. I'll just move that to trash. If I want to back that up the proper way, the safer way, the better way, I would come over here in DaVinci Resolve. I would navigate to my folder. Oh yeah, it's called Please Back Me Up. I will add a job and you can actually have multiple jobs and it'll just cycle through these one at a time, but we'll just use one for now. So here's my folder, please back me up. Inside, it has this audio file. So I'm going to drag my please back me up folder to the source, that's the source I wanna go from, and then put it in a new drive, this one over here. So I'll navigate to my destination, which is I'm a backup folder, and that folder will go right there. Now all you have to do is hit clone, Watch the little progress bar. It says complete, everything looks good. And with that little green complete sign, you have this much more peace of mind 
that everything worked out and your files were transferred correctly. Now, of course, you want to do a little double check here. Here are my two finder windows. This is where I came from. Please back me up. This is where I went to. I'm a backup folder. Here's the file that I backed up. And then DaVinci Resolve also gives you this cute little text document with the file name and that string of unique characters that tells you that this was backed up correctly. And woohoo. So let's be real. We all use drag and drop for certain things. If it's a really professional project, though, probably use the checksum, especially if your client is putting a lot of money into that footage. And that footage is the product, essentially. And you want to make sure that you didn't accidentally destroy your card. Actually, the checksum won't protect you from glitchy zaps. That's a whole other story. But things like that happen in the transfer process. And you want to protect against those things. Before you wipe that original card, you want to have complete confidence that that footage was copied correctly without going through and watching every single file because that's just probably not possible and you don't have the time for that. Now, there are benefits to drag and drop. And you tech people, don't slay me on this, but it's easier. It's like seven clicks faster. And if you're really in a rush and it's just a personal file and you're moving it across your computer and it's not a professional project, we all use drag and drop. Everybody does that at some point. But if you're on a professional project or you're doing something that is even remotely important, do consider using a checksum. It's free. The peace of mind is worth it. So we're your video allies. You've got this. We've got your back. We can't wait to see what you create and what you back up correctly using checksums. Like the video. I hope this gave you some new information and has empowered you to become a better content creator.